from zombies to werewolves, mummies to scarecrows and ghosts to goblins, the Star Wars universe is filled with creatures plucked straight from our nightmares. So with a certain annual event just around the corner, let's take a look at Halloween in a galaxy far, far away. Welcome to the Kankazan Star Wars lore, the Halloween Special. Halloween seems like an Earth exclusive holiday, right? Well, surprisingly no. Halloween was also an annual festival celebrated by the citizens of Coruscant and the Ewoks of Bright Tree Village. The latter, who considered Halloween to be one of the best events of the year, would dress as ghosts and other monsters, indulge in large feasts, and spring scary pranks. Unfortunately, on the Halloween of Free ABY, a savage predator known as a Hanadak attacked Bright Tree Village during the festivities. In response, Wicked W. Warwick led a small group of Ewoks to drive away the creature. Eventually, they covered the Hanadak in leaves of a pleasant smelling plant, which soothed the beast to the point of retreat. On the same evening, a group of Dulocs raided an Ewok storehouse. However, as well as stealing food supplies, they kidnapped Chief Chirpa, the leader of Bright Tree Village. Once again, Wicket led a recovery effort. By following tracks leading into the nearby woods, the group located Chirpa, cut their leader free from his bonds, and repelled the Duloc forces. Upon a safe return, the Ewoks continued the Halloween festivities. During the Clone Wars, on at least one Halloween, the halls of the Jedi Temple were decorated with scarecrows made from B-1 battle droids, cobwebs, and carved pumpkins, some of which bore a resemblance to Serpentist leader Count Dooku, while others were based upon General Grievous, Asajj Ventress, and even the Jedi Order insignia. Joining in on the festivities, clone troopers donned shiny gold armour, Jedi Knights dressed in pirate gear, and visitors to the temple were given robes and masks to appear as anything from Gungans to Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. Even droids dressed up, astromechs for example, often wore sheets over their domes for a ghostly guise. In addition to the annual spooky celebration, there are many Halloween related monsters and creations within the Star Wars galaxy itself. Demons, for example, were mythological creatures of pointed ears and horns, bearing an uncanny resemblance to the Deveronian species. Furthermore, the Anzati acted like vampires, in that they could not live without replenishing their strength and power from eating the brain matter of others. In a similar manner, energy vampires were creatures who bit others to drain their life forces, turning the victim into a mindless zombie. Speaking of which, zombies came in many forms, whether it be reanimated dead beings, long dead Sith warriors who, ghastly in appearance, struck enemies with waves of force lightning, or revived corpses conjured from Dathomirian witchcraft. That's right, witches also existed. The most common of which, no pun intended, were the Witches of Dathomir, a group of human force sensitives who could cast a wide array of powerful and intense magic spells. Now it's time for last week's question. What or who do you plan on dressing up as for Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I will be going as Kylo Ren. I even have his little toy lightsaber. So let's keep our fingers crossed that I don't have to slay any Jedi while cutting about stealing free candy from neighbours. I hope you all enjoyed today's special edition of Star Wars lore and do make sure to have an awesome time when Halloween arrives. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars related content, keep a locked ear to the King's Hand. Star Weirds were a species of creepy looking humanoids only found in space. Upon locating its target, whether they were spacers repairing starships or travellers jumping through hyperspace, the Star Weird would emit a telepathic scream that struck fear into the hearts of any life form within 20 meters. With a strong hatred for Force users, the species were capable of using Drain Energy, Force Grip, Force Lightning, and Force Sight. What's more, Star Weirds had nearly impeccable night vision, hovered silently at a speed slightly faster than human movement, could resist conventional attacks, and pass through solid objects, meaning you couldn't run and you certainly could not hide.